Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Internet. Thank you for making all my boyhood dreams come true. <sighs> what are you guys downloading now? More naked Tomb Raider pics? Better. Half-pipe plans. You guys are gonna build a skate ramp? Right in my backyard. Not with your Aunt Claire around. She sicked the neighborhood watch and the Barkers because she thought their slip and slide was dangerous. That was because they put it too close to the barbecue. See? Besides, the Barkers didn't have me working for them. I know how to handle my Aunt Claire. I will not rest until each and every one of us is in my backyard doing a kickflip fakie. That's great. She's smiling at me. I'll see you guys. Oh, yeah, because she knows I'll get it done. That's a you're my hero smile. Or maybe not. Oh, here. Let me get that. Hey, Aunt Claire, do you think it might be possible for me to get a half pipe? Absolutely not. There will be no pipes or any other kind of smoking in this house. Fourteen years old. No wonder you're so short. No, a half pipe is a skateboard ramp. Oh, huh. No. I love the way you do your creases. You know, Aunt Claire, having a half pipe would be a valuable asset to the community. All the kids would love you even more than they do now. No. No. Here, I'll take those. Thanks, Decker. You know, we don't have a disposal. Yeah, I know that. Those are clean enough for the dishwasher. I just thought I'd scrub them first. It's a waste of soap. Fair enough. Oh, Aunt Claire, about the half pipe. No. Can you at least give me one good reason? Actually, I can give you two. One, someone will get hurt and sue us. And two, it'll be ugly. She gave reasons? Oh, yeah. This ramp is gonna be badass. This guy where I used to live had one, and pro skaters came by all the time. I hate to be a buzzkill, but no one's ever beaten the someone will sue us reason. It's impossible. Behold. Hey there, Mrs. Humphrey. How you doing this morning? My back hurts. That's a beautiful grandchild. That's not my grandchild. That's my baby. How old do you think I am, Fonzie? <laughs> it's Kennedy. Same thing. Actually, they're quite different. One is a character from a 70s TV show, and the other one is... The exact same thing. You're absolutely right. Look, we just need a school liability waiver, and we'll be out of your hair. What for? Woodshop. You boys don't take woodshop. It's for my cousin, Leon. Oh. Thanks. 
better notify the nurse. Okay, we just take out where it says Garfield High and put in Winnick Residence. I, the parent of blank, release the Winnick residents from responsibility in the event of accidental injury, dismemberment, dismemberment. Oh, that was left over from the original woodshop permission slip. I just thought I'd leave it in. You never know. It's pretty comprehensive. You're being covered against acts of God. In case there's a tornado. Or plague of locusts. usurping his throne? Huh? Sitting in his chair. Oh, yeah. When he's out of town, I'm king of the jungle. Moving on, I'm gonna need a few of these trees. I'm not sure that pleases the king. <laughs> You're kidding me. Okay, Your Highness. Here's the deal. If you grant my wish for a few of these trees, I'll make you high ruler of the halfpipe I'm building. Whenever I go out of town, of course. We find that idea intriguing. Who's we? As in the royal we? Okay, you know what the royal we is, but you don't know what usurp means. Huh? Forget it. What about the trees? If I give them to you, what's the risk factor? Minimal. Fine. I'll do it anyway. Don't you mean we? Huh? signing this liability waiver? Are you kidding? Convinced Claire to let you build that skateboard ramp? She presented her terms, and I'm meeting them. Dismemberment? Very rare. Now you always wear your helmet. And pads, yeah. Have you noticed anything odd about Leon? Yeah. I mean, does he have a, a side business I should know about, you know, selling things? Oh, sometimes kids at school pay him to burp the alphabet. Why? No reason. Okay. Mm. Mm. French roast. Morning, Aunt Claire. What are you doing up? Making you breakfast. Coffee. Oh, that's thoughtful of you. I have sugar, cream, and... Liability waivers. Anyone who uses the ramp will be required to have one on file. No way. That eyesore is not going to ruin my kitchen view. Go take a look. The fruit trees will not only block the half pipe from view, but will also provide nutritious avocados and oranges all year round. Avocados run at like $2 each, you know. We're talking fresh guacamole here. Well, I still say someone's going to get hurt. And not have a leg to stand on, legally. There you go. Both your requirements are met. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. You can't afford the materials to build it. Bon appétit. Back to Nick later. Sam. The cops don't come around here too much, do they? No, it's safe. Who is that? 
Okay, everybody, it's hammer time. We should uh, have the frame up by lunch. Now, if everybody could just start by separating the larger pieces from the smaller ones, then we can start cutting. We're gonna need 20... Okay, looking good. Now put the support beams there, there, and there. These are like the laziest guys I know. How did you get them to help you? No, oh, easy. I just offered co-ownership to every skater who brings three pieces of wood and helps build it. The big guy brought a garage door. Co-ownership? How's that gonna pay off? Are you planning on charging the public Jesus rent? No. But none of these entrepreneurs thought to ask that question. <laughs> Aren't you the little con man? Hey, they should be grateful. I don't see anyone else convincing their parents to let them build a ramp. Give me a hammer. <laughs> Done. 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 It's nice if your mom's boyfriend and bring his power tools. Boss likes to saw things. Uh, Haas, you might want to use these. Done. I don't think this is safe. Eh, you send the waiver. <sighs> All right, listen up, everybody. I've got an idea. I say we split up into two teams. Shirts and skins? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, anyway, the first team to complete their side of the ramp gets to skate first. On your mark? Get set, go. All right. Not a bad pull off. You continue to surprise me. Thanks. Hey, Kaniki, grab your board. Your team won. Yeah, we're all pretty beat. Let the other team go. No way, man. I'm spent. We'll hit it tomorrow. See you guys. You know, a half pipe's not only great for skating, it's perfect for making out under the stars. Yeah. I know what you mean. Someone ought to break it in tonight. Well, I'm gonna go home and take a shower. You could probably use one, too. Leon? I want to talk to you about something. It was an accident. What was? What were you gonna ask me? Why are you hiding this in my room? Please don't tell my mom. I can't keep the money in my room because she'll find it during her surprise searches. Surprise searches? When I'm at school, she goes through my room looking for junk food, firecrackers, and other stuff. Then she pretends she found it when she was vacuuming, even though I know I hid it under my mattress. That's awful. It's okay. I get back at her by jamming forks into the vacuum cleaner. So where do you get all this cash? You can tell me, Leon, no matter where it came from. I've been saving up years of birthday and Christmas money. My Aunt Betty with dementia sends me four birthday cards a year. <laughs> if my mom knew about the money, she'd put it in the bank for my college funds and I'd never get to use it. What do you use the money for? Mostly junk food, firecrackers, and other stuff. What other stuff? Promise I can still keep the money in your room? I'll show you tomorrow. Change your plans. 
Oh, buddy, that bites. Your aunt's making you take it down? You know, I'll help you. It's okay. I'll do it by myself. Tuck. I'm sorry. This was a bad idea. Come on, Michigan. Hey, how come you smell like your uncle? I told you someone was going to get hurt. Oh. Where the hell is my ramp? What happened? There was no tornado last night. No plague of locusts. Well, oh, uh... Um, well... Uh, I made him take it down. Most of you delinquents forged your parents' signatures. How'd you know? Actually, I didn't. Thanks for confirming it, Kaniki. Yeah. I'll tell you what. If you all help lug this wood out of here, maybe I won't tell your parents. Man, your aunt's done some harsh things before. But this? This blows. Yeah. I didn't think she had it in her. I'm glad that you didn't make me guess what you spent your money on, because I would have never guessed this. Yeah, there's nothing like the underwater world to help clear your head out. Chubb's the best one. I love octopuses. It's not octopi. A lot of people don't know that. But if you want, you can call them octopods. That's what marine biologists call them. You really know a lot about this. This is great. Thank you for bringing me here. Chubb has a very beautiful head. Oh, that's not Chubb. <gasps> that's Chubb. <laughs> Chubb's a cannibal. Welcome back. Oh, wow.